A woman who lost three family members in a fire in 2008 is still paying it forward. NBC 26's Shara Taylor reports on her continuing recovery. Billy Jo Bannett lost her mother, father, and brother in a fire at their Watoma home when she was 24 years old. She was left to care for her 16-year-old sister. Bannett spoke to a woman's group in Appleton about how she was able to move forward. What really compelled me to bring her on as a speaker was how she was handling that and how she was so grateful to the people that reached out to her. Billy Jo works as a full-time 911 dispatcher. She says that she was in training in December 2008 when she got the call at 2 in the morning. Her mother's friend told her to go to the hospital. That's where she learned what happened. My mom, dad, and my youngest brother, Charlie, didn't make it out of the house. Two siblings at the house were okay. Less than a month later, she returned to work. It's a job that helps others. She's on the other line when someone calls 911. But it's also a job that helped her. It kept her busy and distracted her from her pain. That pain, though, can never be erased. To go through those life experiences every single time and know that they're not there to see them, to experience them, to never meet their grandchildren, you know, those are things that, that you wish they were here for, but somebody's got to move forward for him. For someone who takes calls for a living, it was a more random call that struck Billy Joe. That's what an audience member remembers most. It was somebody she wasn't close to that called her after the fact and simply said, hi, how are you doing? That's the person that she could cry and let it all out with. Bannock says after the fire, the whole town helped her. Farmers took care of her father's corn on their farm. Local restaurants fed those farmers and the Red Cross helped financially. She pays it forward today by volunteering for the Red Cross, the same Red Cross that was there for her when she was the one in need. Shara Taylor, NBC 26. All right, thanks, Shara. Now, two